night and day to you either have fish or you don't. That's the, that's the art of finding a fish. If I fish it, because you don't know at what stage of the tide these fish are going to show up, you have to put your time in. And there are times we have to move, and there's odd times we have to stay put. And that's the hardest part. But even if, even if I fished a really good piece, I would still move around and come back. Because you don't have to you don't have to be there. One of the fallacies and one of the things you need to learn is that you don't have to be there 24 hours a day. If the fish are feeding on the outgoing, it'll probably be two hours into the tide and down. So you have four hours that you can show up on this piece. So if you fished it for an hour and you didn't do nothing, you can leave and go somewhere else, come back for the last hour of the tide and check it again. That, that way you can hit. You should also have numerous pieces to fish for the day. You should never go fishing right and say, I'm fishing right here today and that's where I'm fishing. You should say, I'm going to fish West End 2 for two hours on a drop. I'm going to go to 6 Tobe and the Cedar Ball. And then return and come the other way. If you keep doing that, then you'll find the spot where these fish are. And when you find the fish, stay with them till they ain't there no more. If you find fish that are 10 pounds, you're in the wrong spot. Keep moving. See, you got to leave fish sometimes, even though in today's world it's not like the old days where fish travel in big schools of similar size. We've all seen now where a guy got a 15 pound fish and he got 56, which makes no sense to me, but I understand it. There's not as many bass as there was. And I'm actually a little concerned because we're starting to get into that world with small fish and very big fish, and that's a sure sign there's something wrong with the fishery. There's, the midfish are starting to leave. We're starting to lose them a little bit. And if you notice, the concentration of big fish is very concentrated. Guys caught them here, but nobody in 10 miles on either side caught one. And then next week, they're over there, and no one in 10 miles caught one. So they're very concentrated. There's pods of very big fish. The good part is you might get the biggest fish ever caught in your life because of it. And at that point, you better be ready for them. That's what this is all about. That's what a seminar is all about. You're supposed to learn to get ready for that one time in life that you don't blow the best opportunity you ever had of catching the biggest fish of your life. Because everyone I talk to tells me, shit, I had the biggest fish I ever had and I lost them. I had a knot broke, the hook pulled. My reel froze them because I didn't take care of it. Your job is to do all of that. That way when you catch them, you land. I'm sure there's been tons of world record fish caught over the last hundred years that have made a fool out of everybody who caught them. That's why they're big. They're just not stupid. Yeah, what kind of